playing with Tom, getting to learn about Tom. You just said he's a good guy. What did you What did you learn about him maybe as a football player that you wish you could have potentially saw him whenever you were that 20-year-old guy? Was there anything that you kind of watched him do that you were like, that is something I should have or a wish I would have potentially had in my arsenal whenever I was preparing or whatever when you were younger or anything? any big takeaways from watching him work? Because uh, you're a Hall of Famer on your uh, fucking own self, by the way. You, your numbers are a Hall of Fame conversation. So I don't want it to sound like, hey, when you look at Tom, what, what is there anything? Nah, you, what, but it's, it's like that, though. He's the only player I've, he's the only player that I've ever been around that when he speaks, when he talks, I believe him. He could tell me, Shady, go walk on that water. You won't drown. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> he has that type of... um thing about him, man, like, like, and I think that the way he works, I wish when I was younger, um, I wish I worked as hard as he does. We just won a Super Bowl and he's back training, doing little things. The way he prepares, I watched how, as we got closer to the, the championship game, this guy, we have about eight, nine, maybe 10 um, players in the group chat, like all the skilled guys, all the guys that was active to play. And he's like, he's going to details, right? about every player we're going against. And he's like um, like a voiceover. So it's a video playing. It's only him. He got the candles lit. <laughs> he's like this DB. He likes to press. He likes to hold. Doesn't have good speed. He just, you know, in everybody. And I'm like, yo, this guy is so dialed in. He's 43. Yeah, he he's dialed in, yo. He can play another five years. Just because not only just the talent or the big arm and all that, it's just like he, he gets it. He gets it. And his wife wasn't at his house for, what, 12 days or whatever. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. was literally in the living room there with his dog, just like, all right, let's put the film on. <laughs> Who else needs to see this? Every fucking skill player. Let me go ahead and just let – this is what we're talking about here. That's why – is that why you think everywhere he goes he wins is because of that extra leadership ability and, like, oh. that cerebral ability that he has? Because everybody talks about, hey, is he the most talented guy of all – that's always, like, the conversation happens. That you get, he don't need to be. You get he Tom Brady to in your building, everybody gets better, huh? Listen, real talk. When we, I played in Buffalo, and I would play this dude every year, twice a year. I say, yo, when, when Brady leaves the Patriots, they will not be as good. Everybody talks about this Belichick, and I, I, I respect Belichick. And that's, you we know, all do. He's a we great do. coach. We all do. But let's, 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 come on, let's stop that. When he leaves that team, they will not be the same. The guy is different. You feed off him. His energy, his, like, the regular season, he was so serious. And then the playoffs, it was another. It was like the Terminator. He was even more serious, and then the championship we He was even more serious. Like even the coaches have to be on their A game because the dude demands so much respect. Um, and when he's there, it's like the the championship um, 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 habits pick up. The championship DNA picks up. And I think when you have a guy like that, you have a chance to win. You know, and I and I love you know Belichick, but. They, they're not the same team without 12 over there. Yeah, you need to have that in the locker room for everybody else to buy in. The coach can only coach what he has, and in the locker room, if they buy in, you can coach a lot easier, and it's a lot easier for a locker room to buy in when your best player is the most bought into being a great football player, being a great pro all the time. But I think they needed each other, but we'll see how this thing is going forward. Are you a free agent this year? Are you a free agent right now? You're really going. I am, I am. So no, while you're on the hey, hey, while you're on that boat, you know, you're like standing on the boat doing whatever you got to yeah. do you know like it's oakland back in the day the uh or the south side back in the day i don't know where you hung out at while you were at Pitt, but or was it station square that was back when station square was popping oh, off so you know you know a little bit about that thing over there i see i see where you're going with this oh hey hey i've invested in some of those bars there in the off season in <laughs> pittsburgh i've had a good time but when you're on that that boat celebrating during that boat parade which every player in the nfl that has ever played and is currently playing was watching on the internet with in incredible FOMO like oh my god that looks like an incredible time down there you know Lombardi's are getting tossed Karen uh, trophy makers are getting pissed I mean there's just if there's cops escorting drunk boats and, down. and, and imagine imagine stuff that they didn't see yeah, ex okay exactly all right the yeah. after two there's probably some good times but while you're doing that I assume at some point a conversation had to happen with yourself or with whoever was around you about what what goes on going forward like I would assume while you're staying on top of that boat with your second straight Lombardi you're like man this is a hot I, this is a hell of a moment here. What do I do going forward? Did that ever happen? Like your future ever get thought about during that boat parade? Or is that for the day after when you're in, incredibly hungover as an old ass man now? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'll talk to my agent about it. Um, and I don't think about it much. 
like even last year, I was thinking about calling it quits. Like, I got some good numbers. I got Super Bowl. I got a family. You know, I've I'm like top three, top four in contracts, running backs. I'm good. And then I think about just winning the Super Bowl, that run, how it felt. And then as I contemplated retiring, the bus kind of called. Because I had other teams call. I'm like, I don't want to play for them. I can't go from <laughs> Super Bowl to that. <laughs> and then the bus call. I'm like, hold up, hold up. Let's think about this. <laughs> right? And then I, then I made the decision. So even now, um, I talked to B.A. a little bit. You know, I'll probably reach out to him. Uh, he told me to take some time and, and figure out what I wanted to do. Um, and then it depends, man. It depends what the teams are. I've had some guys come at me that's – like cause some players may play just for stats. Or, or money. I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to be a chance to, to compete and win. Because when you touch that high like that, you don't want to touch nothing else. You know. So, but if the chance, if, if the opportunity presents itself, I will sure take it. But if not, I will probably just. I might join you in your show, man. If you, oh, you have to. Ooh, hey, right, here we go. McCoy Mondays would be fantastic, dude. That would, <laughs> uh, that would be absolutely fantastic. Where do you live? Where do you retire? You in Florida? Where? Where? Um, well, I still got my my place in Philly. And then I got a spot in Miami. Um, so I only have no home home. I was thinking about when I retire, build that one house. Yeah. Where I just sit at home all day. Yeah. Golf simulator in there, good bar, you know, good the, the whole thing. Gotta have a good bar. Gotta have a good uh, setup, you know what I mean? And I, you know, and I just I just my players, my young guys, they had me smoking cigars. I smoked my first cigar in thirty, what, thirty two years. You're gonna start doing that a lot, I think. I think that's kind of how that goes. I think you do. I like. I liked it though. I never smoked before, so I liked that though. It wasn't bad. Smoked? Never smoked anything or cigars? I never smoked anything. How's that happen? How, how does that happen, Shady? How, how how do we sneak through life doing that? Uh, maybe because all my friends that, that smoke little weed, they would be like stuck all day and laughing. About that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the show, by the way. If you're gonna join this show, I think you're gonna be with a bunch of people that are stuck all the time. <laughs>